Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. Will it soon be possible to play Half-Life Alyx on the Oculus Quest 2 without a PC via streaming? This could be the case because there is a new streaming platform called Plutosphere and that streams PC VR games from the cloud into the Oculus Quest 2 <laughs> and that's uh, pretty awesome. So um, yeah, this could be possible in the future. We will talk about this now. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Andy DeFelser, VR Ambassador, Virtual Escape and Adams Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay, we are of course not only talking about Half-Life Alyx, we are talking about all the PC VR games. So, how does it work? So, um, you don't need a PC anymore, it's just, you don't theoretically not even need the power of the Oculus Quest 2, it's just um, the power of the cloud. So the game is uh, it, the, the game is played in the cloud in the internet and that's awesome. So um, Pluto Sphere they are testing different stuff like from from uh, the service from Amazon and they are not sure uh, for now because it's uh, still in beta which service they uh, will use. But um, at least they they need of course. Uh, low latency. It's very, very important that you have a low latency, otherwise you, you, you will not be able to, uh, to use that, of course. And um, there is another alternative uh, already that's called Shadow PC. Uh, some people are already using that, so this is, uh, I, I would say, in com a competitor to Pluto Sphere. And uh, you can also um, subscribe there for a um, beta version for Pluto Sphere as well. And then there are some people that use that in home. So they're using an app called Virtual Desktop that can stream from PC to the Oculus Quest 2. But of course you need a PC then. For Shadow PC and Pluto Sphere, you don't need uh, a PC. Um, so there's uh, already um, some people that tried that. For example, Upload VR, they already tried that and they used a 70 megabit uh, internet connection, 70 megabit. Okay, and they said, um, yeah, okay, they, uh, it's pretty cool. The sound is uh, uh, awesome. There's no crackling sound. Everything is uh, um, good so far. And from the latency, they say it's a little bit like a virtual desktop, yeah? Uh, perhaps you've seen that. Uh, it's not perfect if you, moving very fast and you see some artifacts or a little bit latency um, um, so it's not perfect and this is the same with Pluto Sphere. So when we talk about something like uh, Beat Saber in Expert Plus mode or competitive games where you need a fast reaction like Onward or Pavlov then it could uh, be a little bit a problem because of there is of course latency. It's not possible without latency because it's streamed via the internet. Um, then, of course, there are some requirements for you at home. You will need a Wi-Fi 6 router and your Oculus Quest needs to be connected to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi. That's very important, 5 GHz. And then, for your internet connection at home, you need a minimum of 50 megabit. Okay, don't use it with 16 or 25 megabit, it, it will not work. 50 megabit minimum. Also, the, the guys from Pluto uh, Sphere, they um, um, say that the router where the Oculus Quest is wirelessly connected needs to be in the same room. That would be much better to reduce the latency even more. In the same room, okay? It's very interesting. So. Uh, then we have to consider what do they want from us? Uh, do they want uh, some money? <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, of course. So they, they are uh, checking out the different price models. Um, uh, for example, now they uh, 
test a subscription. I would, I, I don't know the prices. Uh, I would say 20 bucks per month and then you can use the service as a flat rate. And then there's another method. You can use, the, uh, they will uh, calculate the exact usage. So for example, I don't know the price, but uh, uh, two cents per minute or whatever. <laughs> so um, the exact usage is um, in your invoice then seems very interesting. And how does it work with the games? Um, in, the Pluto, uh, Plu, in the Plutosphere um, cloud you can um, check out or use your Steam and Epic Games library. So for example if you bought Half-Life Alyx on Steam you will be able to um, dow uh, not download of course to, to use it via the uh, Plutosphere cloud and then it's streamed into the Oculus Quest 2 via the cloud. And that's awesome. Um, so of course uh, Facebook <laughs> uh, um, will not support it 100%. They don't like to, to wirelessly stream something into the Oculus Quest. So they will not allow it in their app store, in their official app store. So you will be um, um, forced to use SideQuest to download an app on the Quest via SideQuest or via App Lab. I made a video about this if you are interested. And uh, then you um, have an app here on the Oculus Quest 2. You get an account from Plutosphere and then you are able to connect your Steam or Epic Games account and then you can play the stuff. It sounds great, right? So what do you think? Um, is that interesting for you? I want to know from you, do you think that makes sense? And if yes, which games do you want to play? And most important, what are you willing to pay for this service? Please write it in the comments below, that would be very interesting. I hope this video is awesome for you, so give me a thumbs up and if you want to support me and get early access to my videos and behind the scenes videos, one buck per month. Check the link in the description below to Patreon. See you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Voodoo.de